Well, boys, um, I think it's time. I think it's officially time to fade for Cade. I think it's time to hit the tank button. Um, the Raptors lose once again. Final skits. The game's not over yet. There's a minute left, but um, they're down 14 to uh, the 16 now to the Detroit Pistons, who uh, have swept the season series um, against the Toronto Raptors. the the uh, The Raptors once again can't beat the 12 and 33 Pistons, um, and it it wasn't even close. The Raptors were down by 20 most of this game. I really honestly stopped. Paying a lot, I stopped focusing most of my attention on this game um, in the second quarter when the Raptors went down by 20 because I just, it's just so painful to watch. Um, it literally burns, my, it hurts my eyes. It hurts my eyes watching this team play basketball right now. Um, Kyle Lowry returns. Um, small ball, once again, small ball starting lineup with Gary Trent in there. Um, Gary Trent actually had his best game as a Raptor so far. Still wasn't very efficient, but he finished with 15 points, four rebounds, five assists, two steals, six for 15, three for seven from three. Um, but I just feel bad. I feel bad for Gary Trent, honestly. Um, this dude left a an elite team in the Western Conference, a team that is in the playoffs right now, a team that's probably going to make a pretty deep playoff run. Um, and he had to join this awful team that does not know how to win games that can't even beat the Detroit Pistons um and coming off games where you're competing with teams like Portland and Utah and Phoenix it's just really disappointing that you can't even compete in a game against the Pistons like I don't get how that's even possible you're competing with those other elite Western Conference teams, yet you get blown out by the 12 and 33 Pistons. You get blown out by Sadiq Bey and Sabin Lee and Diallo. I didn't even know Hamadou Diallo was on the Pistons anymore, or right now. He was never on them, but I didn't know even know he was on this team. And he's dropping 19, 10, and 3. Saban Lee's dropping 19. Sadiq Bey's dropping 19. Jeremy Grant only had 7 points, and the Raptors still got blown out. He shot 3 for 12, 1 for 5 from 3. 7 points for their leading scorer, a dude that's averaging like 23 points a game. He dropped 7, and you still lose by 16, bro. And for anyone that is has been commenting under these videos that the defense isn't a problem... What are you watching? Because you're wrong. Yes, the offense hasn't been good either, but these last 15 games, the defense has been terrible. Absolutely terrible. The Raptors have lost 13 out of their last 15 games. They gave up 118 points to the Pistons. They gave up seven threes in the first quarter. The Pistons hit seven threes in the first quarter. Let that sink in. Seven. They dropped 35 in the first. 35, 31, 26, 26. The amount of open shots that this team had. They shot 50% from three. Every time the Raptors have played this Pistons team, they have shot the lights out because they're getting wide open looks. 50% from three. Insane. Absolutely insane. Raps went the first four minutes of the second quarter without scoring. The first four minutes. And what really summed up this game was Sadiq Bey in the third quarter. Um, I don't remember who was defending him, but he got the ball poked away. The shot clock was winding down. There was like... A, a, it was shot clock cheese. If you've ever watched Chris move, that was the definition of shot clock cheese. This dude had to put it up. He was way beyond the three-point line. It was a heave, and he banked it in. And that pretty much just defined this game. Um, but a lot of their threes were a lot more open and a lot more easy than that. A lot more easy, a lot easier. Um, like 15 for 30 from three for the Pistons. That's just ridiculous. You can't play that 
level of defense and expect to win. And if you are going to play that level of defense, you better put up more than 104 points. And you better shoot better than... What's the what's the number here? 40% from the field and 30% from three. You better shoot better than that if you're going to play this awful defense. I just want the, I want this season to be over. This season is cursed. Um, once again, I feel bad for Gary Trent. This dude has just joined one of the the biggest disappointment of the season. The Raptors, without no doubt, have been the most disappointing team this entire season. Nobody coming in really thought that the Raptors were going to be at, at right now an 11 seed. Even people who don't usually hype up the Raptors were thinking that this team was still going to be in the playoffs. Lots of people thought they were going to be a top five seed still. But no. Because the defense is awful. They can't score in the half court at all. If it's not on, fat, on a fast break, it's a brick every time. That's what it seems like. And when you're not playing good defense, you can't get out on the fast break. When you're not getting steals, you can't get easy buckets on the fast break. Defense has been what this team has been known for the past seven years. They've never been like an elite offensive team. They've always been a great defensive team, and especially last year, especially the, the championship season as well. And anyone who says that the defense isn't the issue, you are smoking, bro. You are on something. This team feeds their offense, feeds off their defense. They've never, ever since Kawhi left, they've never been a good half-court offense team. They've always been good in the fast break. They've always been at the top of the league when it comes to fast break points. But when you're not getting steals and you're not getting stops, you can't get out in the fast break. And that results in you scoring 104 points. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like, it's actually just so dumb. This team is so bad. Kyle Lowry needs to be better. Um, 10 points tonight, 3 for 8. He has not shot the ball well in... I can't even think of the last game when Kyle shot the ball well. It seemed like a long time. And I know he's the GOAT Raptor. I know that, but he's not free from criticism. This dude can still take criticism. So any Raptor fan that tries to defend Kyle Lowry in the comments, what are you talking about? This dude needs to play better. He needs to play better. Only two assists tonight. Terrible. He's had the, he's had the lowest plus minuses in these past games, it seemed like. Minus 23 tonight. That was the worst plus minus on the team. Fred Van Vliet tried. He tried. 22 points. But he just he wasn't shooting it well. 7 for 20. 4 for 10 from the, from the field. He tried. OG tried. 19 points. Pretty efficient. Pascal was awful. Terrible. Um, Chris Boucher once again struggled. I just I just don't know. I just don't know. This team wants it. I'm going to say it every single video. This team needs a big man. The defense is so bad. You look at teams like Utah. Why they're an elite defensive team is because of Rudy Gobert. Yeah, they have some good perimeter defenders. The Raptors have good perimeter defenders. They have elite perimeter defenders in OG and Fred. But when you do get beat off the dribble, there's nobody to protect the paint. You're not funneling down to anybody. The Utah Jazz, they have a safety in Rudy Gobert. When their perimeter guys get beat off the dribble, they don't really have to worry that much. They don't have to over-rotate. They don't have to overcommit because they know that Rudy has them, bro. Rudy's got them. And that goes for any team in the league that has a at least just a decent defensive big, bro. And this team does. And Aaron Baines is so bad defensively, it hurts It. It pains me to watch. It physically pains me to watch Aaron Baines play basketball, bro. This dude is so bad. And Kyle Lowry hasn't been great either. I'm going to continue to say it. Kyle needs to play better. Um, there's not much else to say. The defense was terrible. Um, I guess we could talk about the tank a little bit. Um,
should this team tank? Because now they are 11 games under 500, um, and it's not looking good. I think they're well, that's going to be two and a half games out of the 10 spot. Um, do we really want to like really compete the rest of the season just to try and get the 10 spot? And then maybe lose in the play-in game or the play-in tournament. I would rather just tank, bro. I would rather just tank, um, get a high draft pick, run it back next year. Um, whether that's with Lowry or not, um, if you get a high draft pick and you make some good signings or some trades, maybe get a, a decent big on this team, you could possibly make the playoffs. Um and just continue to develop guys like Fred and Pascal and OG. Um, I would have said Norm, but of course, Masai traded him. Um, that trade is looking worse and worse by by every game, really. Um, Gary Trent is not nearly the player that Norman Powell is right now. Obviously, he has a lot of potential, and he can get there. But right now, he's just not. He's not even on the same level um, as Norman Powell. Um, and if this team is was trying to make the playoffs this year, I'm genuine, genuinely confused why you trade Norma Powell for Gary Trent. Um, and if uh, also, if you're going to trade Norman Powell for Gary Trent, why not just trade Kyle Lowry? Why not? I know they said the offers that they got weren't the best for Kalo, but if you're rebuilding, it's better to trade him than have him leave for nothing. Like we saw that, uh, it's just, it's so depressing to watch this team right now. The season doesn't even feel like real life. This just does not feel like the Raptors. This has not been the Raptors for the past seven, eight years. And maybe they finally come back down to earth. Um, they've, I mean, they overachieved last year. They've overachieved a lot uh, this decade, or the past decade, I guess. Um, so maybe, maybe they just finally came back down to earth. Um, but... The core pieces are still, like, OG's a good player. Pascal's a good player. Fred's a good player. But they just don't, they just need a big, man. You just desperately need a big. Um, that's going to do it for this video. I don't have much analysis on this game because it's just so disappointing to watch. Um, a team that should beat the Pistons lose every single game to the Pistons. A team that competes with the Trailblazers, the Suns, the Jazz, blows out the Nuggets, but then gets blown out by the Pistons. Um, so yeah, I don't know what this, what the next game is for this team. Honestly, I don't really care at this point. Um, I just want to win a game. Um, but at the same time, do I want to win a game? Cause maybe we should tank. I don't know. I'm not the general manager. I'm not sure. Um, but it's gotta be frustrating for guys like Kalo. Um, I mean, he could be on a contender right now. I honestly kind of feel bad for Kalo. Um, but instead he's just stuck here. I know this is that this is where he wants to be, but still. I mean, if I was Kalo, I would want to be on a contender. I don't know. I wouldn't want to be getting blown out by the Pistons. But, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Um, the Raptors stink right now. They suck really bad. And, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.